Number three, it doesn't transfer authority over... It doesn't transfer uh, the authority of the woman over to the man, which sometimes people think it does. You know, they think, you know, now that we're dating, especially Christian couples, right? They think now that we're dating, you know, the, the woman now has to practice submitting to me. No, she doesn't, you know, because she's not your wife. Do you know what I mean? Like what she needs to practice is submitting to her father, not submitting to you. And if she's good at submitting to her father, once you marry her, She's going to submit to you because she's obeying God. She's submitting because that's what she's commanded to do, not just submitting because she's practicing this, this, uh, this relationship with you. So, you know, a girl, a girl does not need to obey her boyfriend and a boyfriend should not expect his girlfriend to obey her. A boyfriend really should be encouraging his girlfriend, I guess in this sense, or somebody that you're dating according, to submit to their father. And this is why you, sh you really shouldn't go against you shouldn't encourage a girl to go against her father's wishes. If a father wants her home at a certain time, you shouldn't be you know, encouraging her to stay out late and, and disregarding that because you're encouraging her to disobey her authority. And if you encourage that behavior in her life, what will happen when now you're her authority? So she, she doesn't need to learn to submit to another man. She needs to learn to submit to her father. And, and, and a man who's not the husband of a woman shouldn't expect submission from a woman that's not his wife. Another thing as well is, you know, it's easy to, to submit to a man when you're in love with him. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not really good practice when, when you know, you're, you're, you're boyfriend and girlfriend, right? And you're like practicing submitting and doing, because cause you love this man, right? And you, you, want, you want to please him. And, it's, and it, you're, in the honey, you're in that honeymoon period and everything's bright and rosy. It's going to be easy to submit to him. But is it that easy to submit to your father? Do you know what I mean? So maybe to your father, it's harder to submit to him because it, the, the relationship is, you know, not as pleasant, right? But see, it's important because one day, believe it or not, your, your husband is probably going to feel like your father. You know, there will be days where he's telling you to do things like your dad now tells you to do things and you don't want to do it, but you need to do it anyway. So it, I don't think it's very good practice just because when you are dating, there's the excitement and the newness and... And, and, and the desires and the love is there. It's very passionate. So it's a lot easier to do the right thing than to your father, who you've lived with your whole life, um, to do the right thing there. So submit because you're obeying God, not because you are you know, in love, in a sense. So that's, a th that's one of the, th the third issues. So it's not biblical. It doesn't excuse uh, fornication and inappropriate touching. It doesn't transfer authority over, of the woman over to the man. 